Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is acute pancreatitis, you know. But before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, uh, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And now we come to the topic, what is acute pancreatitis, you know. You know, it is a serious condition uh, where the pancreas it's become, it becomes inflamed uh, over a short period of time. And uh, the pancreas is a small organ and its location is it's just it lies behind the stomach and below the rib cage. And the most people with the acute pancreatitis improve within a week and experience no further problems. Uh, but in case of the severe cases, it can have a serious complications and can be life threatening and can be fatal, you know. Now, acute pancreatitis is different from the chronic pancreatitis, where the inflammation uh, persists for many years in case of chronic, you know, but acute, it comes all of a sudden, you know, and very rapidly. And the most common symptoms of the acute pancreatitis are suddenly getting severe pain in the center of the abdomen, uh, you know, and feeling uh, like feeling sick, you know, or being sick, you know, and diarrhea. So these are the most common symptoms. And uh, you should uh, consult your doctor if you suddenly develop severe abdominal pain and if, and if this is not possible, you should uh, like uh, uh, contact the like out of our GP service, you know, in your area, you know, because it is important that you uh, contact your doctor and see your doctor, otherwise you go to the emergency room, you know. Now, it's thought that uh, in case of acute pancreatitis, it occurs when the problem develops with some of the enzymes or the chemicals in the pancreas, you know, which causes them to uh, try to digest the organ itself. And uh, acute pancreatitis is most often is linked to the gallstones uh, and maybe alcohol consumption. And uh, so by reducing the alcohol intake and altering your diet, you can... Uh, 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 you can make the gallstone less likely so you can it can help you to reduce the chance of developing the acute pancreatitis you know now acute pancreatitis is, is more common in the middle aged and the elderly people but it can affect the people at any age you know so it's not restricted to the old people but but most likely the old it's there are more chances at the old age you know and uh, men are more likely to develop the alcohol uh, related uh, pancreatitis while the women are more likely to develop as a, a result of the gallstones you know uh, the treatment uh, focus on supporting the functions of the body until the inflammation has passed so this usually involves uh, admission to the hospital so you can be given the fluids uh, intravenously as well as the pain relief medications and the nutritional support and oxygen through the tubes to through your nose you know so these are the supportive treatments and the most people with the acute pancreatitis improve within a week uh, as well as uh, and have to uh, leave the hospital maybe after five to ten days you know um, so this way uh, but the recovery takes longer in severe cases uh, as the complications that require the additional treatments may develop you know and about four uh, out of five cases uh, of the acute pancreatitis improve quickly and they don't cause any serious further problems or complications, you know. Uh, but one in five cases uh, are severe and can result in the life-threatening complications such as multiple organ failure, you know. And uh, in severe cases where the complications develop, there's a high risk of conditions. Uh, um, like being fatal, you know. So if a person survives the effects of the severe acute pancreatitis, it's likely to be several weeks or the months before they are well enough to leave the hospital. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you and goodbye.